graced us with a terrific national anthem. And now the teams have taken the court here for an early season Western State Conference match at the Gill Bishop Sports Center here in Northeast Bakersfield. Wearing their uh, white jerseys with red and black trim, the black shorts, that is BC on the left side of the court. And on the right side in the pink jerseys to commemorate Breast Cancer Awareness Month, that is Antelope Valley College, the Marauders. And you'll notice a thin bench for Antelope Valley, Valley College tonight. Uh, only one player, that's freshman Ashley Harvey, on their bench. The starters for the Marauders serving first. We'll get to them as we go here. And the first serve belongs to number seven, Mariah Tatum, a sophomore. A joust at the net is won by AVC to get us going here. And I believe that ball never went over the net. We'll call it an ace for Tatum. So AVC takes the early lead here. Other starters on the court, the libero is Kayla Romero. Excuse me, the uh, libero is number two, Samantha Tago. Hannah Douglas is a freshman setter for AVC. That ball dug up by number three, the sophomore Bailey Green. But a mistake gives the point to BC, and it is 1-1. Other starters for AVC, number 11, a freshman Lauren Devine. Number 12, a sophomore Emily Kasich. And number 22, Lakaira Brodus, a sophomore out of Palmdale Highland High School. BC now serving 1-1. And that's Tatum sending the ball over, and now on the other side, Big swing by Darian Heathcott. We'll get to more about her in a minute. Middle set on the outside. Big hit by Genesis Enriquez for BC. But again, AVC playing D. And finally, it will pay off for Bakersfield College. Point for the Renegades, and they have their first lead at 2-1. Starters for BC serving right now is... The libero, that's number three, Lorena Ramirez, a sophomore out of Bakersfield High School. Good serve dug up by her opposing libero, but then Heathcott tips it over at the net for the first of what we expect will be many kills for Darian Heathcott. She is a sophomore out of Frontier. She leads the state with 290 kills this year. So that was number 291 for Heathcott, and she's off and away. Here she hits again. Dug up by Tago, and then a miss hit by Green, and it's another point for the Renegades. They've won four in a row and lead it four to one in the early going. And I, I, you hate to waste one this early. Lou is asking. Uh, we're still having trouble with his audio, but asking when when uh, AVC should should call a timeout. It's only four one very early on here, but another hitting error by AVC, Mariah Tatum miss hitting that one and it's 5-1 and there is the timeout. So you hate to, but you got to sometimes when the team's not playing well and Antelope Valley College will call a timeout. That gives us a chance to go through the BC starters. Mentioned a few of these already. Number two is the sophomore outside hitter from Española Valley, that's Kayla Romero. The rest of these are all Bakersfield area products. Number three, Lorena Ramirez is the libero from Bakersfield High School. Number five is the freshman defensive specialist from Centennial. That's Hannah Pope. Number 10, sophomore from East High, the middle blocker, Genesis Enriquez. Another middle blocker is a freshman from East, McKenna Baumer. She sung the national anthem for us tonight. Darian Heathcott is number 13. She's a sophomore outside hitter from Frontier. And the setter, also from BHS, is a freshman, Mackenzie Hernandez, and a B varsity all area player a year ago. So BC off to a great start here. They come in at 8-8 eight and 1-1 eight and one and one in the Western State Conference. AVC is 5-8 and eight and 1-2 and two in the conference. So we're really just getting going uh, with, with this conference season. Look at that fly. Yeah, there's a giant fly up here top of the Gil Bishop Sports Center. I'm surprised he's alive in this heat, frankly. Last time I felt heat like this at a volleyball game, it was a Centennial Clovis game, Lewis, a couple years ago. That was unbelievable. That's they spent more time wiping up the sweat than playing the game, I think, in some cases. We may have some of that tonight. Of course, the, the BC wrestling team practices on the second level of the of the Gil Bishop Center directly across from us, and that may be one reason they've got the heat kind of turned up here. Back to action. BC leading 5-1, and the serve comes in from Ramirez. And now Bailey Green with a hit, and she has herself a kill off the touch. And so ABC with its first kill of the evening, cutting the lead to 5-2. Canyons leads the Western State South Division at a 3-0 mark. Santa Monica is 
Bakersfield and Citrus one and one. So still very early, but you got to feel a loser of this game is going to feel like they may be on the outside looking in for that title race. There's Heath Cottage blocked down and rejected by Hannah Douglas, a freshman out of Palmdale Highland for AVC. So she denies Heathcott and cuts the BC lead to 5-3. Still serving is Lauren Devine. Joust at the net again, won by Douglas, the 5-8 freshman. She's a setter, but she's had a couple of impressive plays at the net there. I'll tell you what, early on here, you know, the passing for both teams a little bit iffy here. A little feeling out process. Set the middle, it's Kayla Romero with the deep kill, and she's got it. And that play was set up by Pope's dig there, beautifully done. First kill of the evening for Romero, and it is 6-4 BC. That was a large fly. Number 17 into the game is Jade Delgadillo from Tatchby High School, a sophomore. Another bad that set. That was over the net, I believe, and that's what they're going to call yep. on uh, Mackenzie Hernandez. Went too far to try to tip that ball. Did not allow the Antelope Valley player a chance to play the ball there. And Hernandez really needed to do that because it was such a poor, it was a sort of poor pass to begin with. Well, the alternative was to sort of let ABC play it and yep. see what happened. Douglas, a lot of spin on that serve. It's sent over, free ball by Hernandez, and now AVC a chance, but the back row attack hits the net from Tatum, and it's a point for the Renegades. Seven to five. Server now is Heathcott. The deep, it's dug up by Green. Better pass there, but a problem with the set. BC scrambles, and another chance for the Marauders. Delgadillo sets for Heathcott, and it is off the touch, and it's a kill actually for Mackenzie Hernandez. 8-5 BC. BC coming off a loss at Santa Monica last Wednesday night. In four sets, very close match. Listen to these scores. 23-25, 25-23, 25-23, and 26-24. Doesn't get a whole lot closer than that. All four sets decided by two points. But they lost, and as we mentioned, Santa Monica 2-0 in the WSC South. There's Hernandez again off the block, and they're going to call a lift, and it'll be a point for Heathcott and for BC. Second straight kill, excuse me, for Hernandez. And uh, it is 9-5 Renegades. Renegades open WSC South play with a victory here at the Gill Bishop Center over Glendale. That was a sweep and an easy one. 12-23 and 9. That ball hammered cross court but out by Bailey Green. And it will uh, be 10-5 BC as they extend the advantage to 5. That's the largest it's been tonight. Another slight passing problem. They still got a hit, did the Marauders, but LaKyra Brodus was long with the spike, and it is 11-5 BC. Heathcott to serve again. Served six points in a row now, and apparently that was uh, the end of that run. Into the net it goes. AVC back within five. Last Friday, BC had its bye in WSC South play. And so this is their first game in a full week. They've had a full week to sort of stew and practice and, and talk about that very close loss at Santa Monica last Wednesday. 11-7, your score. Overpass, and it is hammered down by Mariah Tatum. AVC has scored three in a row and now trails 8-11. Green serve goes deep. And Hernandez, the hot hand early, has another kill. Her third now in the early going. Extends the Renegades' advantage back to four at 12-8.
Meanwhile, Antelope Valley opened its conference schedule with a sweep loss at Canyons. That's an ace for Kayla Romero. 13-8 BC. Antelope Valley then went home and won a five set match over Glendale. 15-10 in the fifth, that's blocked out of bounds and so it's a kill for Tatum. That's her second kill plus an ace in the early going and it will be Tago to serve at 13-9. We're gonna, we have our first sweat spot of the evening, Lewis. Not surprising. I was just reading that uh, the parity in the in the state this year, if you look at the uh, rankings right now, Santa Barbara City College upset Pierce, and so that made the fact that the state would not have an undefeated champion for the first time since 2010. Wow. That, that may be more surprising to me that there's been four straight years with an undefeated champion. Volleyball is difficult to do that in. Have one bad night, and that's all it takes. Any sport's difficult to do that in, but with how many matches they play. That attack from Hannah Smale out of Frontier goes wide, and it's a point for... AVC 13-10 now. A lot of local products on this BC roster. It's always good to see for Bakersfield folks. I don't think that ball ever went over. No. This may be four hits, and it is. It's a bad pass from the start of the back row. And so it is 13-11 BC now. They had led by as many as six. They scored five of the first six to lead 5-1, and then later led 11-5. The lead just two now, oh, and Mackenzie nice. Hernandez the dump. Great vision there. Just saw that she had a big hole there in the middle of the Antelope Valley defense and just put it right there. I'll tell you what, for a setter, she sure does an awful lot of uh, attacking, and she's got four kills already. And Darian Heathcott, who usually carries the Renegades, well, at five eleven, only has one. She's the she's uh, one of the tallest players on the team. Only Heath got larger or taller. That ball handling error called there on AVC. So AVC uh, was swept by Canyons, beat Glendale in five at home, and then they lost a four-set match to Santa Monica just as BC did. The score's a little more lopsided in uh, Antelope Valley's case. In and fact, they're saying you know, that the win over Glendale was a little bit of an upset. Yeah, five-set match. They won the first two. 25-16, 25-15, and then how about this third set? They lost it 31-33. Wow. And then maybe a bit shell-shocked from that. They lose the fourth 25-15 and are able to pick themselves up and win the fifth 25-10. Then they lost to Santa Monica, fell behind 2-0, won the third, and lost the fourth. And that was on Friday. That kill comes from Lauren Devine. Might have been the ugliest kill of the night. Almost like a miss hit, but got it over and found a hole. They all count the same, right? Right. Antelope Valley is led in kills per set by Tiffany Matchett, who is not playing tonight. So she's out with an injury, and so that's a this is a handicapped Antelope Valley team. BC takes a 16-13 lead there on the kill by Genesis Enriquez. The sophomore out to hit her, Tiffany Matchett, 3.8 kills per set. And also their most efficient hitter at 247 hitting percentage. A big handicap for AVC. BC trying to take advantage of that. Enriquez, however, is dug up by Tago. And the kill coming for Mariah Tatum, who seems to be picking up the slack with Match It Out. Tatum averages 2.5 kills per set. That's third best on the team. And she hits at 205. Score is 16-14 BC. Hannah Pope now rotating back in for BC. Another tight pass. Nice uh, set there by Mackenzie Hernandez. She at least got it back to her hitter, but they eventually had to send what amounted to a free ball over, and Lauren Devine cleans up the mess. So now AVC within a point all of a sudden, and BC playing rather sloppy the last few possessions. Cross court set, but Heathcott never had a chance. 
That was ambitious, and the match is tied 16 all. I know you like to get the ball to Darian Heathcott, but that is a really difficult set right there. Another chance for BC trying to retake the lead. There's Heathcott, and she missed it long. And so AVC has its first lead in the match at 17-16. It's one of those ones where you want to have those line cameras to, to just check it. Yeah, it sure looked like it may have hit the line there. I mean, boy, you just, you hate to, uh, you, you can almost feel BC trying to get Heathcott more involved, and that's going to be four hits. And BC is really probably in need of a timeout. You're right. And Coach Carl Ferreira is going to call that timeout. 18-16 AVC. They've scored the last five points. They've, they're also on a 13-5 run. So this is really a bad stretch for BC. And uh, you can, as I was saying, feel the Renegades trying to get Heathcott involved, but it's almost like they're forcing it a little bit. Yeah, they really seem to be struggling with the passing and the setting here. Everything's been sort of tight coming into this thing. It doesn't matter how good of a hitter you have. If, if the passing is not there, it's not going to happen. She's hitting percentage for Heathcott, by the way, 255. So a pretty healthy clip, pretty efficient, even for a, a high-volume player. And at 4.5 kills per set, she's actually fourth in the state in kills per set. But again, in just pure volume of kills at 290, she does lead the state coming in. Just one thus far tonight, however. So it is 1816 Antelope Valley College with the lead on BC. BC scored five of the first six points, led 11 to five, and until a moment ago, Antelope Valley's only lead was at one nothing after the first point of the match. I'm but sure it's, it's going down over here with uh with uh, Antelope Valley, looks like the guy was giving them a test. They're pointing at papers and had Scantrons out. I mean, I'm not kidding. It was crazy down there. Number two pencil. Make sure you have them. Serving is Mariah Tatum. You also wonder, especially in a hot gym, we've mentioned it's muggy in here. And that's another mistake on BC. They managed to get the ball over. Should have been a double hit. And they call the double hit on AVC, so a point for BC, a much should, needed point. Should have been a double hit off of off of BC because it hit the set, hit the uh, libero, and then hit her back, came back into her, hit her in the face. I'm not sure on the rule on that, but I think it is a double. It hit. was two. There were two players there, and I wonder if they ruled that the other player actually hit the ball first. I don't. I don't know. It has not been the prettiest volleyball in the world thus far, but. AVC hanging in there with a short-handed roster, and there's a dump kill by Hannah Douglas, the setter. And you can't give up on those, those, those points. And she's impressive, 8.5 assists per set. So she is, uh, she is the vein that AVC goes through. Again, they're short-handed tonight, so AVC's going to have to get created. And to my point earlier, in a hot gym with a short rotation, late in the match, you've you got to look at, is AVC fit to play a, a long five-set match, perhaps, in a hot gym with that many players. That could be a factor as well. Right now, they have a lead as we approach the latter stages of game one, and they've extended the lead. LaKyra Brodus with her first kill of the night, 20-17. to 17. Brodus averages just half a kill per set. So she's been kind of called into action here with Tiffany Matchett out. Big swing by Heathcott, and that's what that's, we've become accustomed to. That's what they needed. They needed that break there, and in comes uh, Delgadillo, a sophomore out of Tehachapi. And she will serve with BC trailing 18-20. They have led for most of this first set by as many as six points, but now find themselves trailing by two. See, all of BC's players don't sit on the bench. They all stand behind the court there. Carl Ferreira likes to keep him in the game and likes to have his rotation set up. Delgadillo's serve is received well, and here is the spike from Bailey Green, defended by BC. Heathcott got her going again, and I believe... That's going to be, they, they said it was in, I think it was off the touch. 
but a kill for Heathcott nonetheless, and BC within a point. Two in a row now for Heathcott, just when BC needed him. So Delgadillo will serve again, 19, serving 20. Floats in short. Dug up nicely by Green, and now she'll hit. It's blocked back. Green covers herself. Free ball for BC. They'll go to Heathcott. A nice dig by Emily Kasich. That is too long from Green, and we are tied at 20-20. BC played four very close sets last Wednesday at Santa Monica. All of them decided by two points, and now... You know what? We'll take a break. We'll take a break here. ABC calls timeout, and we will take a break. Who wants to try a new burger? Oh, my God. I like it a lot. It's flavorful, juicy. That's melted garlic herb butter. That's yeah, really rich. The bun is just, like, really good. Pretty classy burger. Heads above. Could this have come from Jack in the Box? No. No. No, not at all. I don't like fast food. Hi. I made that. No! <laughs> no! Really? That is my new buttery jack with garlic herb butter melted right on it. You can go classic or bacon and Swiss. Will they melt in your mouth? You better believe it. Welcome back on Bakersfield.com. This is live BC Renegades Athletics. This is BC Volleyball against Antelope Valley College. Our first ever broadcast of BC Volleyball. Renegades have scored the last three points to even the first game at 20 apiece. They played four very close match, four, four close games in their match, their loss at Santa Monica last Wednesday night, and now they're locked in another close one to begin this Wednesday night. Glad to see that you're uh, using the bandwidth sucking uh Baseball app from ESPN. I'm on my own uh, Wi-Fi here. You know, it's playoff time, baby. Nice attack. Nice attack, but just barely long from Green. Her second straight error in almost the exact same spot, and BC has now won four in a row. Trevor pantomiming the Jose Bautista bat flip over there, I think. He, w he was opposed to that. How did you feel about it, Lewis? Seems like the sort of thing you would like. I like any of that kind of stuff. Let them have fun, that's what I say. Let them have fun. S set to the back row, and that ball is stuffed down by BC. Heathcott was there as well as Kayla Romero, and BC has now won five in a row at a crucial moment in this match, in this first game. Delgadillo still serving now. She started serving with BC down two. They're now up to 22 to 20. And at the just the right time for AVC, Hannah Douglas comes up with another dump. She's very effective at that. Very smart. She saw the opening there on that uh, on that right side, on her right side, and made the made the move. She came in with only 16 kills for the year, so be, they, she's got three already tonight. They're they're, and that is going to be that's a weird a call. net violation against BC. I didn't see the number though. Or was it a rotation violation? Nonetheless, it, it uh, is going to tie this first set up, 22 apiece, with they, Douglas serving. I don't know, the, the call maybe called an ace on that one. Oh, did, did they say it hit the floor? I think so. Yeah. 22 all, Heathcott attacks Douglas, digs it up, but that ball's going to be out, and BC gets the point. So BC peaks ahead by a point, 23-22 here in the first game. Heathcott serving, and what spin on that serve. Right off the fist of Samantha Tago, and it is set point for the Renegades. Looking for their star to act like a star, and she's done just that in the latter stages of this game. Heathcott with a couple of big kills when BC was behind. Now she has an ace to set up set point. See what she comes up with here. That time Tago able to make the defense, but a block a will win the set for BC. Mackenzie Hernandez and Kayla Romero there for the block, 
and the Renegades win game one, 25-22 over Antelope Valley College. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with more here from Bakersfield College. We're here to help three-way, three-way Chevrolet. At Three-Way Chevrolet Cadillac, we are so proud to support Bakersfield's hometown team, the Bakersfield Renegades. When you're looking for a new car or truck, choose the dealership with local pride. Three-Way Chevrolet Cadillac, Bakersfield's hometown dealership. Visit threewayautomotive.com for more information or stop by and see us off Weibel Road at the entrance to the Bakersfield Auto Mall. We're here to help three-way, three-way Chevrolet. One thing about living in Kern County is all the great schools. And no matter what school you go to, 